The story of Radio Salon, Asia's pioneering radio station, begins with a remarkable feat of engineering. Guglielmo Marconi's transatlantic transmission of Morse code in 1901. This groundbreaking achievement proved that wireless communication was possible over vast distances, opening up a new era of global connectivity. Marconi's invention, initially intended for maritime communication, soon sparked the imaginations of inventors and entrepreneurs worldwide, paving the way for the development of radio broadcasting. Marconi's success relied on the work of earlier scientists like James Clerk Maxwell and Heinrich Hertz, who laid the theoretical groundwork for understanding electromagnetic waves. Marconi's genius lay in his ability to translate these theories into practical applications, developing powerful transmitters and sensitive receivers capable of sending and receiving signals across the Atlantic. This achievement captured the world's attention, demonstrating the transformative potential of wireless technology. The impact of Marconi's transatlantic transmission extended far beyond maritime communication. It sparked a wave of innovation as inventors sought to refine and expand upon his work. The development of the vacuum tube, particularly the triode in 1913, revolutionized radio technology. The triode, invented by Lee de Forest, amplified weak radio signals, making long-distance reception clearer and more reliable. This innovation paved the way for the development of radio broadcasting as we know it today. The triode's impact on radio technology was profound. It enabled the development of more powerful and sophisticated transmitters capable of broadcasting audio signals over greater distances. In Britain, the first official radio broadcast took place in 1920, featuring the renowned Australian soprano Dame Nellie Melba. This landmark event marked the beginning of a new era in entertainment and communication. The BBC, established in 1922, quickly became a leading force in radio broadcasting, developing a diverse range of programming that included news, drama, music and educational content. The BBC's success demonstrated the immense potential of radio to inform, entertain and connect people across geographical boundaries. Its model of public service broadcasting would serve as an inspiration for radio stations around the world, including Radio Ceylon. As radio broadcasting gained momentum in Britain, its influence spread rapidly across the globe. Countries around the world began establishing their own radio stations, eager to harness the power of this new media. In Asia, Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, emerged as a pioneer in radio broadcasting, launching its first radio station in 1925. This marked the beginning of Radio Ceylon's journey, a story intertwined with technological innovation, cultural exchange and the evolution of media in the 20th century. Radio Salon's inaugural broadcast on December the 16th, 1925, marked a significant milestone in the history of broadcasting in Asia. Edward Harper, a British engineer, spearheaded the establishment of the station, initially known as Colombo Radio. The station's early broadcasts were limited in scope, covering a radius of about 40 miles around Colombo, the capital city. However, Radio Ceylon's reach would soon expand dramatically thanks to ongoing technological advancements and the station's growing popularity. Initially, Radio Ceylon's programming consisted mainly of experimental broadcasts featuring gramophone music and live performances by local musicians. The station's early broadcasts were met with enthusiastic reception from the Ceylonese public, eager to embrace this new form of entertainment. The novelty of listening to music and voices transmitted through the airwaves captivated audiences, quickly establishing radio as a popular form of entertainment in Ceylon. As Radio Ceylon gained momentum, its programming diversified to include news bulletins, educational programs and dramatic performances. The station's multilingual broadcasts featuring Sinhala, Tamil and English catered to the diverse linguistic landscape of Ceylon further enhancing its appeal. Radio Ceylon's commitment to serving a wide range of audiences solidified its position as a unifying force in the country, connecting people across different communities and backgrounds. 
Radio Salon's early years were marked by a spirit of innovation and experimentation. The station's engineers and broadcasters constantly sought ways to improve the quality of their broadcasts and expand their reach. They experimented with new transmission technologies, developed innovative programming formats, and actively sought feedback from listeners to tailor their offerings to the evolving tastes of their audience. One of Radio Ceylon's notable achievements was the establishment of a shortwave transmitter in 1937. This technological leap enabled the station to broadcast its signal far beyond the shores of Ceylon, reaching audiences across South Asia, Southeast Asia and even parts of Africa. This expanded reach transformed Radio Salon from a local broadcaster into a regional powerhouse, introducing Ceylonese music and culture to a wider audience. The introduction of shortwave broadcasting had a profound impact on Radio Salon's programming. The station began producing content specifically tailored for its international audience, featuring a mix of popular music, news bulletins and cultural programs. This expansion of programming further solidified Radio Ceylon's reputation as a source of high-quality entertainment and information, attracting a loyal following across the region. The station's broadcasts became a familiar sound in homes across South Asia, providing a window into Ceylonese culture and connecting listeners across geographical boundaries. The outbreak of World War II in 1939 brought about significant changes to Radio Salon's operations. The station's strategic location in the Indian Ocean made it a valuable asset for the Allied war effort. The British government took control of Radio Ceylon, utilizing its powerful transmitters to broadcast news and propaganda to Allied forces and civilians across Asia. Radio Ceylon's wartime broadcasts played a crucial role in boosting morale and disseminating vital information. The station's announcers, broadcasting in multiple languages, kept listeners informed about the progress of the war, countered enemy propaganda, and provided a source of comfort and entertainment during a time of uncertainty and anxiety. Radio Ceylon's broadcasts became a lifeline for many offering a sense of connection and shared experience amidst the chaos of war. Beyond its role in disseminating information, Radio Ceylon also played a crucial part in psychological warfare. The station's broadcasts targeted Axis forces in Southeast Asia, aiming to undermine morale and encourage defections. Radio Ceylon's multilingual announcers delivered messages of hope and resistance showcasing the strength and unity of the Allied forces. These broadcasts served as a powerful tool in the Allied war effort, contributing to the eventual victory over the Axis powers. Following the end of World War II in 1945, Radio Salon underwent a period of significant expansion and modernization. The station's wartime experiences had demonstrated the power of radio to connect people and influence opinions, prompting a renewed focus on developing high-quality programming and expanding its reach. The Ceylonese government invested heavily in upgrading Radio Ceylon's infrastructure, acquiring new equipment and recruiting talented broadcasters and engineers. This period of growth saw the introduction of new programming formats including radio dramas, quiz shows, and talent competitions. Radio Ceylon also expanded its musical offerings, featuring a diverse range of genres from traditional Ceylonese music to Western pop and jazz. This eclectic mix of programming catered to a wide range of tastes, further solidifying Radio Ceylon's position as a leading broadcaster in Asia. Radio Ceylon's post-war expansion coincided with a period of, of rapid technological advancement in broadcasting. The development of FM radio with its superior sound quality and resistance to interference offered new possibilities for enhancing the listening experience. Radio Salon embraced these advancements, launching its first FM service in 1950, becoming one of the first radio stations in Asia to do so. 
This commitment to innovation ensured that Radio Salon remained at the forefront of broadcasting technology, attracting a new generation of listeners and solidifying its reputation as a pioneer in the field. Radio Salon's influence extended far beyond the shores of Salon. The station's powerful transmitters and diverse programming attracted a vast and loyal audience across South Asia, Southeast Asia and parts of Africa. The station's broadcasts became a staple in homes across the region, providing a window into Salonese culture, music and language. The station's popularity transcended geographical boundaries, fostering a sense of shared cultural experience among its listeners. Radio Salon's impact on the global music scene was particularly significant. The station's embrace of diverse musical genres, from traditional Salonese music to Western pop and film soundtracks, introduced listeners to a world of new sounds and rhythms. Radio Salon played a pivotal role in popularizing Bollywood film music across South Asia, broadcasting the latest hits and introducing audiences to iconic singers like Lata Mangeshkar and Mohammad Rafi. Radio Salon's impact on broadcasting practices extended beyond its programming. The station's innovative use of shortwave technology, multilingual broadcasts and commitment to audience engagement served as a model for other broadcasters across the developing world. Radio Ceylon's success demonstrated the power of radio to transcend cultural and linguistic barriers, connect people across vast distances, and foster a sense of shared experience. Radio Ceylon's journey from its humble beginnings in 1925 to its status as a broadcasting giant is a testament to the transformative power of radio, the station's pioneering spirit, innovative programming and commitment to serving a diverse audience left an indelible mark on the history of broadcasting, not just in Asia, but across the globe. Radio Salon's legacy continues to inspire broadcasters today, serving as a reminder of radio's enduring ability to connect, inform and entertain. The impact on Sri Lankan society is immeasurable. The station played a crucial role in shaping the country's cultural identity, promoting national unity and fostering a sense of shared history. Radio Salon's broadcasts provided a platform for Sri Lankan artists, musicians and writers, showcasing the country's rich cultural heritage to a global audience. The station's legacy continues to resonate in Sri Lanka today, inspiring new generations of broadcasters and media professionals. Radio Salon's story is a testament to the enduring power of radio in an ever-changing media landscape. Despite the rise of television, the internet and streaming services, radio continues to hold a unique place in the lives of millions around the world. Radio Ceylon's legacy serves as a reminder of the medium's ability to connect, inform and entertain, transcending geographical boundaries and cultural differences. The echoes of Radio Ceylon's broadcast continue to resonate today, reminding us of the power of radio to shape our world.